Hey there friends, Carly here. Welcome back to my channel, Carla Mae Designs, for another Happy Planner flip through. Today we'll be flipping through December of 2016. However, I am starting my new planner, my botanical garden planner from Happy Planner. And since it was an 18 month planner, I was able to start early in December. Um, I just thought it was so beautiful and I just couldn't wait to start it. So this planner will actually have uh, it will go December through the end of 2017. So it will be like 13 month planner for me. And I just thought this planner is so beautiful and the dividers are so lovely, I just had to get started right away. All right, I'm so excited to share my new planner with you. I did cover the back of my um, currently page, which would have been probably the last week of November because this was an 18 month planner. So I did cover that last page with some scrapbook paper and I just put 2017 here, even though I realized this is still um, December of 2016, but most of the planner will be 2017. So I wanted to kind of mark that. I thought that would be a cute way to sort of hide the last page of November and so I could start fresh with uh, December. So I used some scrapbook paper. I bought this scrapbook paper um, last Christmas in a paper pad at Michael's. The currently page is one of the first changes in this planner compared to my last year's setup. Um, my last year, my polka dot, uh, gold polka dot planner did not come with a currently page and I had seen people um, with the currently page and I know some girls really enjoy it and some people don't. So I thought I would try it this year and see how I like it. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I usually just fill my list out and then these areas, I think one was for goals and one was birthdays or flip-flopped, I'm not sure. Um, I just thought I would decorate there because I usually put my goals and birthdays on my daily planner. And so I thought it would be just more fun to like decorate um, and use, use some of my sticker stash and just sort of have fun decorating in that area. But I was really excited to do the currently list. So this is the first month in December where I finally got to do that. And this is one of the very first lovely dividers in this planner and I just added kind of a journaling card and um, the golds just seem to match perfect so I thought that was really cute. One of the changes in my planner this year that I'm really excited to share with you is my monthly collection. If you've watched any of my videos from last year you'll know that I did a monthly list every month so all over my page I would decorate it and then in the little boxes I would list different items so each list was kind of a different theme. So this year, I wanted to change it up and kind of keep things fresh and exciting. And so this year, I decided to do a monthly collection. I'm kind of a collector at heart anyway, but I live in a small space. I live in a studio, so I don't have a lot of space for actual items. So I thought collecting them on Pinterest would sort of like give me that um, fun of like finding and collecting things without actually having to like house or dust anything. This is my collection for December and I chose the Zodiac since it's my birthday in December and so I'm a Sagittarian and I found a few little Sagittarian items as well as some sort of just like Zodiac items like these really cool boots and this fun book that says shoe astrology. So this was super fun and I can't wait to share my other collections with you each month. And like I said, if you want to check out the full collection of everything that I um, spotted on Pinterest that I thought was really cool, you can check out my Pinterest account and find my monthly collection for December. This is the first layout of my new planner. So it's the last few days of November, which I included in my November video, and then the first few days of December, which is starts this uh, new planner. And one of the changes I made is that I decided to do a theme each week. I've been really enjoying watching people's plan with me's and they always come up with such cute themes. So I decided this year I'm gonna do a theme each week and I would have certain spaces um, just for decorating and having fun. So I decided I'll have a few boxes like I did here just for decorating and along my little sidebar here and I would have some space designated for photos other spaces devoted for um, journaling, and then I also wanted to try stamping this year. So as we go through December, you'll see that I've got some spots for uh, stamping, and sometimes I do like a to-do list like I did here, and sometimes I do just like um, cute little icons or little phrases that are positive phrases. So I'll show you as we go through here. But um, this week was my birthday week, so I have this little um, card here with a picture of Jose and I. We went out 
to dinner and went dancing that night. And um, it was really fun. This is actually a cake, but I think the, the picture makes it look like the whole thing is on fire. <laughs> but it was really just, I think there was just like one or two candles on it. <laughs> so it was like kind of a small, like a little six inch mini cake that they had at the restaurant. That's me blowing out the candles. And here are some floral boots that I bought that I thought were really cool. And I had a couple extra pictures, so I included a little um, journaling card that I punched and put in here. That's kind of a nice way to add extra pictures with, is with journal cards in your Happy Planner or even um, greeting cards because you could add pictures on the inside and the outside. Um, and then I also decorated with these little um, stickers that I got at Michael's. This was in one of their little winter sticker books and I thought the, the little fairies were cute, um, especially for birthday week, like making birthday wishes. So that was my theme this week. For the second week of December, I decided to do a woodland theme, and I had this cool scrap of paper from Michael's. I think this was also in the winter or Christmas pad that I purchased. I had all these cute little woodland animal stickers also from Michael's, which were in one of those little um, books that you can buy, the Doris books for like a dollar. And then I also used, this is a Happy Planner sticker, and I kind of like to have a little positive um, note each week, so I included that sticker. So again, I have my sidebar that I use to decorate and this little space here and then two boxes here. So I like that. I just feel like it has like a, a good balance for um, decorating. Then I put my pictures on the weekend areas and then a couple over here just to kind of balance things out. This week it's been pretty chilly outside so Jose and I have been kind of hunkering down and just watching <laughs> a lot of TV. Um, we watched Netflix, we watched this um, Medici Masters of Florence which is kind of like a series. This is really good. And then a couple of movies, we watched um, Star Wars and Jane Got a Gun. I also filmed a video of a home decor haul of some items that I purchased at Michael's and I went out to happy hour with my friend Kylie. During the middle of the month, we were preparing for our trip to Southern California to visit Jose's relatives for Christmas. So we were working on Christmas cards and wrapping Christmas gifts. And it was really, it was fun. Um, we had some Christmas music going and so we're getting into the spirit um, <laughs> this week. Looks like we watched a lot of movies and TV also this week um, because it's getting kind of chilly and Minnesota so sometimes in the evenings it gets dark early and you just kind of feel like hunkering down and <laughs> watching TV And I also went to my friend Kylie's house and we watched a movie called um, Serendipity It's kind of an oldie and we had some wine and some girl chat. It was really fun. This was the week that we um, began our travels to uh, Los Angeles. This week's theme, I just kind of went with a Christmas theme and I have those same little stickers that I was um, showing you on a previous week um, from the Michaels books. And I had this really pretty paper from a paper pad and I had this cute little um, washi tape that also went with the um, Christmas ornaments. So I thought it all matched really cute and I was really happy with um, this layout. I'm really thrilled with how it turned out and I did this little um, stamping with um, different places that we were going to visit and then also I just got to use some of my other fun vacation stamps. Um, these are um, all Kelly Perky stamps. One of the pictures I took, I'm not sure if you can see it, I'm gonna try to get a little bit um, closer to the camera, but this is a picture I took from the window of the plane and I just thought the cities or the little towns that we were flying over looked so cool because you can see I think this is probably a river here and you can see it's kind of just like snow or ice over the landscape and then you can just see like a little town like glowing so when I looked out the windows you would just see these little spots of um, little glowing towns because it was we left really early so it was still quite dark out and you would just see this little golden light among this sort of like sheet of like ice. It was really, um, <laughs> it was really cool and sort of like, I don't know, it looked like you were more like out in space seeing these little, um, little colonies down below. But um, I took a bunch of pictures like that. So I printed one for my um, planner here. And then I also printed some images of when we got to LA and um, Cheyenne um, made a beautiful dinner and this was her salad. I just thought was so um, beautiful. <laughs> it was, I said, your salad looks like a Pinterest um, salad. And it was so pretty, so I took a picture of that. And I also took a couple other pictures of Jose and I just relaxing and doing some sightseeing. This was a picture um, I took of Santa flying over Rodeo Drive.
George Michael passed away that week, so I also included a picture of him. I just thought that was so sad. Um, I love George Michael, so I wanted to include him in my memory keeping as well. We stayed in LA for a few days after Christmas as well, and we traveled to San Diego, so I have a couple um, pictures here of San Diego. We went to the old town in San Diego, which is where San Diego um, basically um, started, or the city of San Diego anyway. We went to the Whaley House, which is supposed to have ghosts, but we didn't actually see any ghosts, but we did t talk to one of the ladies who works in their um, museum. She's one of the guides, and she said she has heard um, footsteps. She said sometimes you can feel cold air or sm um, smell perfume, which is a, which uh, is like a rose perfume that the lady of the house you know, used to wear. So she said she's kind of had some, you know, strange experiences like that, but she's never actually seen anything with her own eyes. <laughs> so um, it was really fun talking to her and she was just sharing all kinds of stories with us. So that was really fun. That was at the um, Whaley house. We also went to Chinatown that week and I was so excited because I found some dance shoes. I love to go um, salsa dancing and swing dancing and I found some dance shoes there so I picked those up. And the other um, exciting thing that happened that week was I got a new nephew. So his name is Owen and he was born on the 27th and it was really exciting. I still remember when I got the phone call. I, we were just shopping and I think I was in like a retro record shop um, looking at albums and I got the phone call. So that was really exciting and they sent me, or they texted me a little photo of him. I also included a picture of Carrie Fisher in my planner this week because she also passed away. It seems like we're losing all these um, entertainers right now and it's really, really sad. Um, but I wanted to remember her and I found this great picture from when she was like really young in Star Wars and I just thought she looked so um, pretty and like regal as Princess Leia and so I wanted to include that in my um, planner this week. For my theme, I decided to do a woodland kind of forest fairy theme. I had these really fun stickers from uh, Michaels and I had this cute washi tape that I really love. This is like a kind of wood grain washi and I love this turquoise with the brown. I just thought it was really pretty. So I'm really excited how this um, turned out and I got to use my shiny, um, <laughs> my shiny um, aqua washi tape that I had um, purchased. I think I got that maybe at Target. I'm really happy with uh, how this theme turned out. It was really fun to do. That was the end of the month, friends, and uh, January of 2017 will be coming out soon. I know I'm a little behind, and I appreciate you who leave me wonderful comments that you're excited to see these videos again. I'll be getting them all filmed and up for you as quickly as I can, um, but I really appreciate you hanging with me. And if you enjoy, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy these videos, please remember to um, subscribe so you'll find out when the new ones are out. Thanks friends, have a great week, bye!